Matt, just to you know, again, put a book in on this macro talk yes. really quick. You know, we've uh, Jay Reader, um, CIO here at Great Capital, sent us a graph showing some savings rates and credit card debt. And, and it was a little alarming because basically, you know, well, let's look at some of the graphs right now. Mm-hmm. Um, here we've got the personal savings rate. I mean, you know, back in the 60s, I mean, it was 10%. Now, again, you weren't earning some interest in your bank account back then, especially in the 70s. It really spiked here back in uh, 1975. Um, now, Matt, in the, yeah, so 17.3% you get in the savings account in 1975. Is that the case? No, I think this is the amount of, uh, this is the amount of people who are saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. people are saving. Yeah. Of course. Um, so, I mean, people were saving quite a bit in 1975, mm-hmm. but in the pandemic, as, you know, stimulus tech, the checks were going out, um, the money printer was going, um, burr, it, we peaked at, what is this, Matt? I can't even get on 33. That. 33 um, was the personal savings rate. But prior to the pandemic, Matt, though, we were, it wasn't great. Mm-hmm. It, 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 was, it wasn't bad, though. It had actually been increasing for a while. Back in 2019, we were basically at 8.9. Yep. It had been trending up since the, uh, basically, you know, kind of 2013 post-GFC. But since, uh, man, since that peak back in 2020, Matt, we've seen some significant declines. And all the way down to a rate of 2.7, which is a rate we haven't seen since um, really 2005. Okay, so I'm going to do some pattern recognition here. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Some uh, technical. <laughs> I know. I believe uh, technical not... analysis. Oh, okay, is good, good, the, good. Uh, <laughs> So you see, we see in this graph. This is for the listeners. Uh, it's you know squiggly line. It follows a general trend, and then there's uh, and then there's a few times within this scope. There's a graph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a line graph. There's a chart. There's a line. Graph. Sometimes there's a sharp spike up, and then it sinks down a little lower than, it, and then there's kind of like a reverse ripple effect. It like it right in like 1976, it spikes up and then goes down. What I'm looking at specifically though is in that 2013, that pattern, it spiked up and then it went a little bit lower, and then it kind of came back up again. We and. and and so skip forward 10 years or so, and now we are we are in the way, we are just now crawling out of the descent that's from the last spike. The spike in 2012 when it hit 11.16, that's post geo. That's really kind of yeah, I, tight, post, you know, recession, out of the recession. It's a, I would be interested to know. And it drops. I, I, yeah, there may be, you know, some something I have right here. Yeah. Just February of 2013. Well, I mean, we did have a little bit of a you know, drop in, in the market. So and you can also see in two, in like 2004, 2005, it spikes up and then it goes down and kind of climbs up again. I think now this is my this is my sunny rose colored glasses thing. I think that things got really bad at the end of last year and then we're kind of crawling ourselves, crawling our way out of it. We're still vulnerable in terms of credit. Um, what do you mean? What do, when, what do you mean when things got really bad? It just well, that that was lowest. when the savings rate was the yeah. lowest. It was was late late fall last year, and I think so we, we're trending up. So we bottomed. We've bottomed. That's down. what I think. Yes, bottomed down. Yep, I, I I'd agree. Um, now it's low, but it's like that in itself is not. Um, I think enough to be like, oh, we're heading over the cliff. Yeah, this uh, credit card, um, in other revolving plans, the consumer loans, um, looking at credit cards and other things. Well, this is not good, the trajectory uh-huh. we're on, I, I think it kind of, um, it tracks in, in a in, in a sense that's not too outside of kind of yeah. like the path that we were on yeah. pre-pandemic. It just shows the difference is, um, you know, the credit card debt went down when we were getting all those payments in the mm-hmm. pandemic. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people have started putting money on their credit cards as that savings has dried up. I mean, there's a pretty corollary effect between the two. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, the, the rate of increase, the slope is definitely steeper. I think what we'd like It'd be concerning if that continues and doesn't level off. Mm-hmm. I guess. Yes. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking. I'm really talking about the rate of change, um, and, and just to make, see see the in, in more detail. Mm-hmm. It's really not. It, it, it's pretty like you know 45 degrees to the right, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and we and prior to that, it was not nearly as steep. Yeah. An angle, but not really outside of the line of. Mm-hmm. It's it and, and my my kind of point too is that. The the stories that we're hearing about these, you know, the credit and savings situation, they kind of talk about it as though we're in an, impen- an impending doom. And if we are in doom, it's not necessarily impending. We're just really v- pretty vulnerable right now. And, and, that, and that's where it's like, that's 
whether it's commercial real estate business, again, in a vacuum may not be the end of the world. But again, mm -hmm. if layoffs start happening and all of a sudden people, you know, bet, people can't start keep paying their minimum balances on their credit cards. Yeah. Just yeah. Not everybody's paying it all off, even though they should be. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, then you can start seeing some dominoes roll over and, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, car, um, auto loans as yeah, well that yeah. are ha having issues. So the, the consumer's not in a great spot right now. Um, mm -hmm. so I think vulnerable, Matt, um, how you described it is yeah. apt in good.